Who said my hair wasn't real? Who said my hair wasn't real? Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It's another cozy night in Get Ready With Me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. What are you drinking? So what I'm drinking is a pear. Girl, I'm drinking pear juice with a little bit of water in it, just to water it down, cause it get a little strong. For today's cozy night in, y'all already know what we like to do. We like to get ourselves together from rooter to shoulder. <laughs> today's no different because we got a little look going. Y'all like my look today? It's giving standard, you know what I'm saying? Like always a mirror vibes. You know, curly hair, natural beat. That's that's what we like to do over here, girl. Not too much. For today's get ready with me, we're going to be doing a full lace wig. Part it all the way to the bank, friend. Look, 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 look. I want to do what the girls do. They say like, who said my hair wasn't real? Who said my hair wasn't real? Who said? My hair wasn't real. But look, you can part this hair anywhere that you want to. You can style this hair any way that you would like. You can do updos, down, all types of stuff with this hair. And we absolutely love that for us. And of course, I have to thank the company that sent it to me. I want to say thank you to Chris Beauty Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. We're going to go ahead and get into this wig. I'm going to show you how I style this wig. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it comes out of the box. And we're going to get more information on the clear lace technology that Chris Beauty comes through the door with. Girl, they bust through the door like the Kool-Aid man with the clear lace and I love it. Look at that hairline. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it the clear lace that Chris Beauty likes to feature because they set you up every single time. And as I mentioned, the hair, oh my God, the curls. We're gonna go ahead and get into styling this hair and stuff like that. But after that, we're gonna get into chatting, you know, doing our little girl chat, catching up, talking about the Super Bowl, BMSC, not really. The makeup look that I was going for was concealer only and a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, and a little bit of eyebrow, a little bit of lip, but nothing too much. If you wanna see how I got this look and what this wig can do, girl, we're gonna take it for a test drive. If you wanna go on a test drive with me with this wig, and then you wanna go ahead and get into the face, please keep on watching, and I'll be back to do the face. <laughs> So your wig is gonna come in the Chris Beauty hair box and inside that box, of course, you're gonna receive your wig, but you're also going to receive gifts. Now the gifts that I received with this wig was a comb, baby hair brush, wig caps, rollers for the hair, all that type of stuff. But also the greatest gift is gonna be the wig. Obviously you pay for it. So is it a gift, but it's, it's the best part. Now you can see that this wig is absolutely gorgeous. And this wig is the 20 inch long, 150% density, real human hair HD full lace wig in the water wave texture with a clean hairline and bleached knot. When I tell you that Chris Beauty hair hairlines are unmatched, Oh my God, baby, it's unmatched. Now this wig comes pre-plucked. Not only is it pre-plucked, but the hairline comes with single knots and the knots are bleached. So you are not able to see the knots. And you can see when you get up close, friend, that hairline is hairlining. You don't have to pluck it. You don't have to do anything to it. Now the clear lace on this wig is a clear full lace. So typically, I think usually they'll have a lace frontal. I've tried their lace frontals before. They are great. But a full lace wig, is it? It's so good because you can see as you're parting the hair all the way to the bank, it looks so much like scalp. This cap is really, really breathable and it's easy to wear without you feeling hot, which is perfect for the spring because spring is coming up and some of, some of us are not giving up wigs. <laughs> Shout out to me because I'm not giving up wigs. Now, let's go ahead and get into styling this wig. First, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this hairline using a wax stick. The hairline is already pre-plucked and pre-done, but I, already, I always need my hairlines to be flattened to the bike, you know what I'm saying? It just looks a little bit better and makes styling a little bit easier because the hairs are not running amok on your forehead. As you can see, that hairline, oh, chef's kiss. Love to see it. Now, after that is done, we need to go ahead and pull this hair up because we need to cut off this lace. Now, one thing I noticed about this wig is that it fits really, really secure. And since this is a full lace wig at the back, I didn't have to glue it down. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. You have to make sure you leave a little bit of hair out, but the fact that this wig cap fits my head perfectly is amazing. Now next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this lace and I'm gonna cut off the lace all the way around to the back of the head. So this is the back of the lace. That's what it looks like. But let's pop it on the right way, girl, cause we're not wearing the wig that way. 
Look, you see how that looks? If you pull out a little bit of hair at the back, girl, who's going to be able to tell? Nobody. You can get the hair up off your neck. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit more hair off that lace because it was like a little bit too long in the front, girl. My forehead would have been way too small. So, next we're going to go ahead and apply the wig. I started to try to use the Got To Be Glued new lace gel. It was taking too long to dry. So, I'm going with my tried and true Red by Kiss um, lace spray. Oh my God, I love this lace spray. It melts that lace down so well. A little tip with this clear lace. I learned this a long time ago. Do not pull the lace too tight. Gently pulled it. I pulled it too tight and baby, I got my wrinkle in time that I always talk about. It gets to wrinkling. Girl, I need starch. <laughs> okay, to flatten it out. The thing about clear lace is that it's so gentle and it melts so well into your skin it's so thin that when you stretch it it's gonna wrinkle on your forehead so it's better to just tug it lightly girl as you can see you can kind of see the wrinkle a little bit mine wasn't too bad but just a little forewarning for you girls now i'm just gonna pull out a little baby hair on the side just to go ahead and get the process started because baby hairs gonna be taking a minute for me so i pulled out the baby hairs while i'm applying it just to help the application be a little bit easier and girl to make it easier for myself basically now the only thing about this wig I noticed where the thread was placed on this wig um where I cut the cap it was a little bit thick on that side but I think it's because of my cap size I'm a cap size small so yeah the where the lace ended up being placed it ended up looking a little bit funny but anyways girl I had to move that mic out of the way it was hanging out anyways so next we need to go ahead and do the baby hairs girl I don't lost my tweezers I don't know where they at but I like my baby hairs to be really really thin so what I like to do is pluck them with usually some tweezers but I use my hand and I just pulled out a group of hairs and that's it now to lay down the baby hairs I'm gonna go ahead and use my she is bomb lace putty this was in my faves list I love using this lace putty because it's really really light and gentle and it lays down baby hairs without it being like too rough and drying hard it's more like a it's a putty it moves like a putty now i'm going to do the same thing on the other side pluck out the hairs and then cut it down and then lay down the baby hairs with the lace putty and it looks so good if you do i like i like my baby hairs like this because it makes the hairline look more natural to me now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lace tint this lace doesn't need lace tint but for some reason on the sides y'all know this is like an ongoing problem for me on the sides it's always lighter like it's something about the way i apply it i don't know what i be doing but it just don't be working every single way this happens so i'm gonna go ahead and use my i use my dola hair lace tint i got it from amazon over the lace just to make it blend a little bit more next we need to get into layering because this hair need layeration it looks beautiful the way it is but the ends they're a little bit thin i also noticed that the hair was a little bit dry so when hair is dry you already know what, what my solution is cut off them ends so you can get more bounce on your curls because i notice if i don't cut the hair it gets like the ends kind of stick together and you don't get the same bounce okay like when you move your head your hair don't bounce like it's supposed to so what i like to do is section off the hair at the top this is my new method of cutting because y'all know i don't know how to do the scissor like just slide the scissors down i don't know how to do that i like to do it like this dividing in the section so first i like to cut the bottom so i just pull the hair around my head like a little scarf girl for the winter time and i just cut the hair off at the bottom and then i take the section right above the ear on the sides and i comb it through and then i trim it downwards boom i do this on curly hair and straight hair and when i tell you it works i feel like it works it does a pretty good job i do the same thing on the other side i just eyeball it and do it the same way i just cut it downwards but i pull the hair towards the face and lastly we do the hair at the top so I pull it, I separate it into three sections, as you'll see, but I pull all the hair forwards, cut it, part it, put that excess hair back, cut it again, part it, put that excess hair back, and cut it one more again, girl. And then we're done. That's it. That's all you have to do with this. And when I pull the hair off to the side, you can see that the layeration is there. It's giving Macy Gray shape. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and part it on the other side because I like the part on the opposite side this time and i'm just gonna go ahead and lay that hair backwards and get that part all situated with my little hot comb so now that that is complete we can go ahead and section away the hair and get to moisturizing my favorite favorite part this is the 
longest part, but it's my favorite part. So I'm just gonna section this hair away. I work through the hair in halves. This felt like a whole bunch of hair, but this hair just expands more than it's actually big, which you'll see. Like it is big, but it's an expanding hair type. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Mousse Def Mousse as well as my Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I don't know if I showed that to y'all, but I used both mousses because I didn't want to run out. I was about to run out of my Mousse Def Mousse. The only thing about the Shea Moisture Mousse, girl, it was so juicy look girl it's just like straight up water i don't know what was going on with that i talked about that in my favorites if you haven't checked it out please check it out um the mousse was acting funny so i had to mix it with the mousse def to make it work out but of course we also have the start of the show the evolve 572 brush i use that to brush through the curls and get the curls to clump together so i do that on both sides and i brush through all of the hair and comb it through detangle it i did notice there was a lot of tangling especially more at the roots than it was at the ends and the hair was like dry she needed a lot of moisturization so once i got the moisturization all up and through the hair of course we're going to go ahead and take our dyson and we're going to blow dry and diffuse the hair until it is completely dry the hair has to be completely dry before we separate these curls so then we separate them and that's how you get really good juicy natural curls look at how they look now the hair was dry before and now girl moisturized okay it's giving cocoa butter it's gorgeous now i continue to fluff out the hair and you can see how pretty this hair is look at that hairline the side is a little bit orange because i used too much lace tint but don't even worry about that but look how that hairline looks so natural it's so effortless this is perfect for beginners and i wanted to show y'all what this hair would look like once i put her up because i wanted to show you like what it looked like in the back i needed to cut off a little bit more lace but i did pull out like a few of my baby hairs in the back and look how realistic it is it is so refreshing to know that you can pull your wig up off your neck in the summertime i'll go ahead and leave a link below for this wig if you are interested i also will leave a coupon code for the girlies that would want it go ahead and get some money off friend anyways let's go ahead and get into the face okay y'all let's go ahead and get started with the face we're gonna do a very 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 natural face i'm not lying today usually i'll be lying but we're gonna do a natural face today y'all my skin has been doing so much better lately and the cleanser i've been using is cleanser that i've been loving for a while it's always sold out at target it's the thayer's ph balancing daily cleanser it has aloe vera salicylic acid i love this stuff and it's been helping with my dermatitis now when my skin was normal it was a little bit harsh but now that it's like having issues it's helpful so i don't know girl let's go ahead and put our hair back because we need to get to the skin but baby she's starting to get oily and girl i'm getting into dangerous territory when my face gets oily because my face is oily, girl, it's time to wash it. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing great. I'm doing fantastico. Um, I'm going to start with the Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. I love using this. For the face, I'm going to do a concealer. You already know. You can go ahead and say it with me, class. I'm going to use a MAC NC45 Pro Long Wear Concealer. But I'm just going to use that like in the center of my face. Dermatitis does this thing where it takes away like some of your skin tone like in the middle of my face it, it took it away But it's starting to come back. So I feel like I, I can start using this concealer again because it's starting to be the right tone I, It's hard to explain. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the promo wear concealer is powerful. Have you tried it before? girl this is like Just getting like it's like a little bit lighter, which I like I'm gonna be a matte girly until Mac won't let me be that girly no more. Oh my God. I feel like Mac still has great um, complexion products that I love to use. And I still haven't gotten a lip liner from them. And I want to, because I used to think their stuff was like too expensive. But girl, now I need to go over there and spend a bag. You know what I'm saying? Spend some money on a lip liner. I need to get cork. I think that's the lip liner I need to get. Like a good brown lip liner. Cause I don't have one. I don't have one at all. Oh girl, this looks nice. Don't they look nice? It's giving skin, right? Today's actually Valentine's Day. Y'all let me know how your Valentine's Day went. Hopefully it went well. I'm not a Valentine's Day girly, never been. So we're just doing a little bit of filming. What y'all do today? Did y'all hang out? Did you hang out with your man, your girls? Did you see the face? 
You see how it looks? Look how pretty. Oh my God, look at the skin. Like, look, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you try MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, y'all know what I'm talking about. And I feel like any other concealer doesn't compare. Like, I don't know what concealers y'all using, but I'm not choking. Every time I try a new concealer, I'm like, it's not MAC. It's not doing it. It's not MAC Pro Long Wear. It doesn't do it for me. How was your weekend? Oh, did y'all like the um, Super Bowl? Like, not Super Bowl, the Usher concert. <laughs> did you like it? Did you like the performance? I liked it. I thought it was so good. I think he had so many songs that it was like, it was hard to, like every time I would get into a song, I was singing the words and he was into the next song and I felt a little silly on the couch. I didn't even really like that. I was saying like, can you complete one song please? So I don't sit here looking a fool, please, please. Please. Okay, that's enough blending because at this point it's turning into a foundation. Like I'm really doing a lot. Now for under the eyes, typically I would use the Laura Mercier powder, but since I'm looking to highlight, I think I'm gonna use my soft focus powder. I haven't used her in a minute, but this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Powder in, what is this? Golden Almond Finish. I've been using this for a minute because when I tell you it really does highlight, I love how it looks. I feel like the formula has changed a little bit because I don't like it as I as much as I used to like it. Maybe I'm applying it differently. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but let me see. Yeah, I think it highlights. And applying it, it's really, really sheer and light. And I like that. I feel like th there was like a lighter one or something. It's not highlighting the way I want it to highlight. Well, yes it is, look. You see, oh my God. I feel like this is more of a no makeup, makeup look. Something I will wear like once it finally gets warm outside. It's finally, here in Atlanta, starting to warm up. Like it's getting up to like the 60s pretty consistently. I cannot wait till spring. You already know how much I hate winter. Like if I could write a strongly worded letter to whoever created winter, I would because I hate it. <laughs> hate that season so much. So I'm ready to be out on winter and into spring. So finding a good makeup routine would be great. Like something like this, so far so good. Like I can walk out the door with this. It looks like it's like my face. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> Baby, I done came up with something. But if y'all haven't heard of this soft focus powder, I need to go and get the milk chocolate finish. I used to use that as a bronzer, but I need to go back and get some because I do love, love this from Black Readings. Black Readings need to call me. Girl, quit playing. Y'all need to call me. It looks so good on the skin. Like it's giving me like a good finish. And it looks, it works so well with the Pro Long Wear Concealer. Ooh, ooh, girl, this is pretty. Okay, so next, girl, we're almost done. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my Bobbi Brown. Did I cough on my hand? Did I start drooling? What just happened? I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the color D. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the face a little bit. Yeah, you see that? I love how sheer this bronzing powder is. Like it's really pretty and sheer. It's kind of orange though. Is that sheer? No, it's not. It's definitely more orange than sheer, but y'all know what I mean. Like it's not, sometimes I get too much of a concentrated color and it looks crazy. And I'm not getting that today, so I love that. I'm just gonna add that over the forehead. I also add it over the lace, just so it blends in. But as you can see, can y'all tell that my lace is wrinkling? This is like one of the most annoying things about having a small head is my lace always wrinkles and I pull it too tight. So if you can see the lace wrinkling, girl, blink. Girl, close your eyes, act like you don't see it. Cause I pulled it too tight while I was trying to apply it. And that's the only thing about clear lace is that it's really, really fragile and gentle. So if you pull it too tight, baby, you will get a wrinkle in time right there on your freaking forehead, girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides of the nose. I don't know if this is contouring or bronzing. I feel like it's more bronzing. So next we're gonna go ahead and add some blush, y'all. This blush is the Lip Bar Glow On Highlighting Blush. I think I'm gonna add the blush using um, the back of my sponge. I literally just, I feel like I zoned out and I didn't even know that I was talking just now. Wow. This stuff is like really, really like pigmented, but it's kind of shiny. But I do like the color. At first I used to think it was a little bit much, but like, in photos, it shows up so pretty, but it's kind of like a, I don't know how to, mm, it's giving iridescent. It's giving like, wow, okay girl. You didn't know when enough was enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of powder over it because it's a little bit, it's doing a lot. Feel like I'm going to the disco. Like this is kind of heavy, isn't it? 
A little bit. Ooh, a lot of it. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, girl, I'm at home. Where am I going? Who's gonna see us? Okay, nobody. Now for the eyebrows, I already powdered my brows with the um, black radiance powder. I'm just gonna go in and add a little black. I think I'm gonna do black today because I can't find my espresso pencil. I think it's in the bathroom. And girl, I'm being lazy. I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> this is a micro brow pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up. Add hair like strokes. Sometimes I like really, really dark brows, but sometimes I start to look like a little angry. Like I look like an angry bird when I do them a little bit too dark. So I try to be light on it, but sometimes when they're too light, I feel like my face looks empty. You know what I'm saying? So I just need to add a little bit. Need to add a little bit. We just finished watching uh, a couple of shows. We watched Reacher. What is that about? What did I just do with my eyebrow? Wow. I thought I was doing hair like strokes, but it looks like I just did broad dry erase marker strokes. Like, what is that? <laughs> my eyebrow looks like a kindergarten project. What did I just do? I, be, I should be able to brush that out. I think last time I talked to y'all, we were, oh, oh, the show we were watching. What show were we watching? I didn't want to tell y'all what I was watching because sometimes people get ahead of you and start discussing in the comments and I didn't want that to happen. But we was watching Mind Hunters. Oh my God, if you haven't watched it, it was so good. Now, trigger warning, if you were not into, there's a whole bunch of, girl, it's a lot going on on that show. Almost everything you can think of, but it's really, really, really good. And it's a really, really good show. I really, really enjoyed it. It's well made, but it was discontinued. I think it stopped after what, season two or three. We watched this show called Reacher. We just finished that on Amazon Prime. I don't know, like, it's like a, I don't even know what to call it. It's not a thriller. It's like a, I don't know what to call this show, but it's good. It's like about a guy that just goes around and like saves the world. Girl, I don't know. Am I done with my makeup? Girl, that's crazy. I said it was gonna be quick, but I didn't know it was gonna be this quick. I was thinking about putting um some eyeshadow on, but I think I'm not gonna do that today because I just did my lashes and I don't want to scrub my eyes because I need to keep these lashes on because tomorrow we're going on a little date. Because, oh yeah, did I tell y'all? Um, my husband set up a date for us because we celebrate the day that we got engaged. Um, we got engaged on the day after Valentine's Day. Yeah, so we're going to be going to dinner tomorrow. Hopefully, if all things work out, because uh, we have a little bit of work to do. We have a packed schedule. But hopefully, we'll be going on a little date tomorrow and enjoying ourselves. When I tell you, I feel like going out, I think I've said this many times before, Going out in Atlanta on a weekday is top tier. Top tier. Weekends, no ma'am. It's like going out on New Year's Eve. Like, what are you doing? I added a little bit of mascara to the lower eye lid just to make up to, for the fact that I don't have no um, eyeshadow on, but cute. Oh, I forgot. Lips. I'm about to leave out of here without doing my lips. Girl, what was I? Where was I going? Nowhere. But don't nobody want to walk around with no lips on. That's crazy. Oh, for the lips, I'm going to go ahead and do... Girl, I still haven't gotten a lip liner. I don't know what I've been going through, but I haven't gotten a lip liner. But I've been using my NYX Wonder Stick. I've been using this. And it's been working fine. I don't love it. But I don't hate it. It just be looking a little messy on my lips. But I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to add... It's the contour stick in the color D. I try to overline my lips with this, but it really starts to look crazy. Like, it do. I'm just gonna... And I'm gonna take this lip pencil. I got this lip pencil, I think from the beauty supply store. This is the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Crayon in the color brown, but it's more like a reddish brown. Like, it's not like a brown brown. When it comes to lip pencils, I don't know why. I don't see them as like important but i need to get them i use them all the time <laughs> i need to add more um lip balm so the lip balm that i'm using is the laniege glowy lip balm i love this stuff i'm out of it i think i have another i bought like two or three of these at one time and i'm already out of it girl i think i'll be eating this like i'll be eating it down i probably need to stop doing that it's not good for you <laughs> the lips have been dry honey they're really, really dry. The color is pretty. This brown color from Ruby Kisses is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss in the color Pink Punch. When I tell you this thing is cloudy and full of lip skin, oh my God. I really don't know how y'all girls be using each other's lip gloss because y'all just be putting other people's lip skin on your stuff. That's crazy. I can't do that. Mm -mm. See, it's now like a reddish color. I need to get a, I think I have a clear one in here. I think I have a new one. 
It don't even burn no more. Oh yeah, I have a new one. I got this from the CCS, CC, y'all already know. I told y'all many, many times that I rant and rave about going to the cosmetic company store because I think y'all need to save y'all coins wherever you can. Like obviously makeup full price is cute, but sometimes you don't have to pay full price for it. Like some matte stuff at the CCO is like half the price depending on what day you go um, of Ulta. You know what I'm saying? So like why spend the, the, why spend the coins? You know what I'm saying? Take the clips off the hair. I need to throw on some earrings and then we are done, honey. I'll go ahead and spray this down. Hold on, let me do a second. I'll be over spraying sometimes though. Oh, girl, I need to relax. Girl, my face is just gonna be wet. Girl, it looks like I went on a little Disney ride. What's going on? Or oh, Universal ride. Where, where they got water? Where, where the water parks at? Who got water parks? Hey, y'all, let's go ahead and toss on our little earrings while the face dries. Because, girl, I put so much on my face. It was crazy. I forgot what I was saying earlier. Did y'all think it was weird, like, the hug that Usher gave Alicia Keys? I did not. And I was so surprised that people even talked about it. But y'all tell me what you think about it. Because I literally didn't think anything of it. Like, they're, they're performers. I really didn't think it was a big deal. I felt like people were blowing it out of proportion. Her husband didn't even care. Like, what? I didn't understand why anybody was talking about it. It's a performance. It's called my boo. Like, who would have even made that an issue? But did y'all feel like, maybe I'm not seeing it, but I'm definitely not seeing it. People were overreacting for, y'all let me know what you think, because I really didn't think anything strange was going on. But if y'all thought so, let me know down below. Maybe I'm missing it. This is a finished look. Okay, I wouldn't have chose to wear this shirt, but this is one of my filming shirts. Sometimes I want to put on an outfit. Other times I'm like, girl, just put on your filming shirt and call it a day, okay? I love, this hair is gorgeous. Like the texture, I wasn't even, the hair is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. And the makeup, I feel like I need to do this more often, like even on date nights because it's so simple and it gets the job done. I get coverage without getting cake like a cake face and that's what i like about this just a couple of products and that's it i definitely need to do this more often i don't know why i haven't but we're gonna go through a couple of styles with this week because i gotta tell you the versatility like look part partation girl you can part it <laughs> all the way to the bag. There's so much versatility in this wig, so you're able to wear it in so many different ways, so. Okay, let's go ahead and get into some styles for this full lace wig. Now, don't pay attention to the to the speed bumps <laughs> that I got up there at the top of that lace, girl. Don't even worry about it. We're about to do some cute styles with this wig, and of course, we gotta start with the, the classic half up, half down. Now, this wig looked really cute half up, half down, like a teased half up, half down. It was giving very much 80s styling and i love that um that was like my favorite look no tendrils just hair up very very cute now my next style is going to be all bun okay now you can see in the back of the wig this is a full lace wig but it does come with the adjustable strap in the back so i can't really glue it to my head but what i can do is um let a little bit of hair out in the back so it doesn't look wild and like kind of tuck the lace in under my cap and as you can see it's seamless you can get the wig off your neck without doing too much you know what i'm saying like look you can't even tell when i put a little couple of my baby hairs out girl it's getting very much back of the head and of course i did a little clip and that's it girl very simple what do you think oh i didn't get to say thank you for your support for the nine years the nine year anniversary on youtube happened this month on february 9th the anniversary was this month and i've been on youtube for nine years that is crazy nine years living my dreams loving it my first video it's still up don't watch it oh my god cringe i wouldn't be able to do this and have as much fun as i have without having y'all so truly thank you for the nine years and nine beautiful years on this platform anyways i love you all i'm so grateful for you thank you for watching thank you for commenting thank you for just hanging out and listening to me run my mouth girl because we don't know what we be talking about over here but we love to laugh i love you all thank you so much for watching and thank you again to chris beauty hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this video i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.